Hello and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your daily reading for April the 8th, 2022. So let's see what's coming in. We're getting very, very close to the conjunction between Neptune and uh, Jupiter in Pisces. So I can just feel that energy is getting more and more intense. It feels like it's kind of lifting you up and up and up. It can feel a little bit disorientating, almost like your feet are not touching the ground, uh, but not necessarily in a bad way. So let's see what energy is coming through. And we'll focus a little bit more on that on the weekend reading coming in tomorrow. But we've got the Seven of Pentacles. So looking at planting seeds with the Aries King of the King of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, there could be some uncertainty. A um, bit of with the Page of Cups coming in as well. And the Three of Cups. Okay. Ooh, the Ten of Swords. Okay. Interesting. So this is all around uh, planting seeds, planting seeds, planting seeds, planting seeds. And there's something surprising about this. Um, you're kind of weighing a few things up. There's a, quite a few options here, actually. It feels like quite a fertile time. There's celebration. There's um, things on offer. I think some of these things could be surprising, surprising messages from your heart. At the end of the day, the Two of Pentacles is trying to find the balance uh, because um, there's a lot happening. You know, there's... Over here, there's, the, there's you know, trying to concentrate on work <laughs> and career. Over here, there's socialization and there's spirit and there's um, messages from your heart. And it's like, oh, okay, um, I need to prioritize <laughs> because there's just a lot happening here. Socialization, work, career, greater vision, money, um, friends. Oh, it's all happening. Um so we've got the Ten of Swords, which is that you are going to have to make a choice to say no to something in order to prioritize. Uh, so otherwise, you're just going to go mental. Like you're just going to be like Woo, all over the shop. And that's what I was saying. It doesn't necessarily feel uh, particularly grounded because the King of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles is the Aries energy, Aries and uh, kind of going, okay, we're, we're, we're doing our work here on the human realm. Whereas the Page of Cups and the Three of Cups is that Jupiter, Neptune energy of just celebration on a high spirit level. Sorry, my alarm went off. I don't know where I was. But the Page of Cups and the Three of Cups is like ne Neptune and Jupiter up in the high spirit realms having a party and <laughs> just going, woohoo, let's connect in and um, get high on these spiritual realms. And then it's kind of like, but I do actually have work to do down here. I have to focus. There's jobs that need to get done with this King of Wands and Seven of Pentacles. I've got to think about some serious things about my future. I'm consider deeply considering some stuff and uh, there's almost it's a little bit flamboyant and flippant this page of cups and three of cups is like just do this just see if this is work will work and it can be a little bit like just try a new possibility you don't have to be so serious about it and then be like well I don't know if that's actually uh, realistic or not so it's finding the balance between these kind of energies which um it's nice with the Page of Cups and the Three of Cups energy, absolutely. I would say this energy is going to get stronger and stronger. We can see this is where we're leading towards because it's the Jupiter-Neptune conjunction. And like I said, this is kind of a bit of a once-in-a-lifetime thing that's happening. They're, they're both in their home sign of Pisces. So it, it's... um. Even though it may seem like, oh, it's all up in the ether and it doesn't feel necessarily like it's something particularly grounded, there's so much you could find in there that you won't get normally. You know, you can always come down and plant seeds in your human world and be part of Aries season, but you're not always going to be able to go up there and connect with that Jupiter and Pisces energy. So the Ten of Swords is kind of uh, where you potentially, and what I've been shown is that there's absolutely you know, energy stretched between these two, but the Ten of Swords is where there's some sort of idea or belief or fixed um, thought or thought pattern that you're letting go of. Um, so amidst all of this, and it may not be particularly conscious, but, um, yeah. <laughs> so the Ten of Swords, interesting one. It's an interesting one because I feel amidst all of this, there is something you're letting go of. You're closing a chapter of some sort or saying no to something or closing a door whilst there's all these other 
um, entertainment happening. This feels like it's a very lively court. You know, the King of Wands has got people out um, growing his gardens and then he's got the jester coming in and having, then there's a party and then there's, you know, it's like there's so much happening in this particular court of this King of Wands. He's busy, but at the same time, um, uh, in the back of his head or when we just say his head, like your head, there's something that, is, yeah, there's something going on in your thoughts in the back of your mind that is um, very much precipitating an ending here, even though there's a lot of distractions around. So, yeah, kind of interesting energy. There's a lot going on. It's kind of fun, um, but at the same time, there's something a little bit more um, serious going on with it as well. So, interesting to sit with this so that is the energy and this is what i say about the page of cups and the three of cups is jupiter and pisces is kind of like you know it's like the happy sage the funny silly giggling sage that you kind of don't underestimate the wisdom that's part of this lighter energy because there's always wisdom associated with it so uh yeah interesting so there's in, wisdom in those higher realms and just be aware of what you're letting go of in terms of something inside your mind at this moment in time. So that's it. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow.